Hello and welcome again to yet another bloody review by Picklehob Gaming, where Panzers are considered to be family cars. Continuing with the theme of reviewing PlayStation 1 racing games, we continue with a uh, game that is one of my personal favorites for the system. That being Destruction Derby, an arcade racing game where winning isn't the only objective, where you have to smash, crash, and bash your way to victory. This game was created by, well, you can't see the logo, but because it's right there, was made by Psygnosis, the, one of the few people that made the Amiga to be a worthwhile computer by releasing many cool games for that particular computer and others, such as Lemmings. However, that's if you're European. If you're not, then, you know, who needs an Amiga? Am I right, folks? Anyway, this game was af was made after Sony bought them out and told them, Look, guys, we need you to make PS1 games. And with that quick background out of the way, we can finally enjoy the following. That never gets old. Destruction Derby is, as you know, a racing game with elements from the racing subgenre, better known as Demolition Derby, in which you smash your way through the ranks to win races. The game features numerous tracks, including ones with crossovers and narrow tracks designed to create the biggest pileups. The game's presentation is crisp with good, if forgettable, music. The graphics are representative of the PS1's early days with angular models and texture-mapped polygons with some minor flexing and wobbling, but that's a video for another channel. That isn't mine. What's really impressive is that car damage is rendered in real time, showing off how capable the PS1 was at the time. The game's controls are well done, and despite being only controllable with the Lego brick directional buttons, works fairly well. There's even a feature by wherein by pressing the R and L buttons, you can quickly turn, which allows you to get back into the ray faster if you suffered a critical hit from a car coming from the other direction. The gameplay is fast and fun, with crashing and bashing having a satisfying impact on the cards in the game and thus being fun. The game was made with great care and effort to show off that the PlayStation is here and that its future would remain a formidable force in the gaming industry. Mistakes with the PS3 not withheld. While, yes, this was yet another quickie, and as such, I do have a treat at the end, all in all, this is a fantastic game, definitely has more content than Ridge Race Racer, and isn't an overly realistic pain in the ass like a certain Gran Turismo I could mention. But that's for a review for another time, sadly. I recommend this not only as a fan for fans of racing games, but also for the PlayStation 1 enthusiast. Now, here's a video of me eating ass on one of my favorite tracks in the game. Enjoy!